Garland police are looking for a hit and run driver in a minivan who clearly knew the person he hit was badly hurt. 29 year old Travis Gray was struck in Garland yesterday. Surveillance video shows the moment before the collision and then the driver getting out of the minivan to look at Gray after he hit him before leaving. Police say the minivan has noticeable damage on the right front quarter panel. Fox 4's Lynn Ann Wynn has more from Texas Health Dallas where the victim is in critical condition. Lynn Ann. Steve, Heather, I spoke to the victim's family who says that he still has now woken up in the hospital and they're calling the driver who just took off after hitting him a monster. Very hard worker, providing for his family, just trying to make an honest living for his family and then this happens. The family of 29-year-old Travis Gray is praying for his recovery as he lies in a hospital bed with critical injuries after being hit by a van. Gray has two children and another one on the way with his fiance and owns a car hauling business. So he was on his last car yesterday getting ready to strap up on his ladder when that person did that to him. Police say Gray was hit Wednesday afternoon around 1245 on Action Street, a small road just off Forest Lane near Plano Road. They recovered surveillance video from a nearby business showing a dark blue van coming down nearby Shepherd Drive. The video then cuts to the moments after the collision. The blurred area of the video is where Gray lay injured. This person gets out of the car and sees that this victim is injured, clearly injured. He gets back in his car and drives away. Leaving the young father of two unconscious and alone in the street with serious head injuries. When we drove by, my friend slowed down and I looked down on the ground and I saw a puddle of blood under his head. Patrick Redburn and a friend worked nearby and were headed to lunch when they found Gray and called 911. It was pretty bad. He had a knot about the size of a fist on his forehead right here. Uh, he had a cut on his head. Uh, he had a gash on his leg. But Gray's family says he's mostly been unresponsive in the hospital, but they continue to pray he pulls through, and anyone who recognizes this driver turns him in. You may be his family and his friends, but you have to understand that Travis also has family and friends. Travis has uh, several people, his uncles, aunts, fiance, mom, sister, brother, kids that are hurting as well. And if it was you, if the roles were reversed, you would want someone to turn him in. And Crime Stoppers is offering a $5,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest.